Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. The base is coming along very nicely. I am trying to get ahead of this particular crisis here, which has a good bit of heat right down here, but thankfully everything above this line is doing pretty okay, except there's some heat leaking through here, but it's not as bad as the heat that's leaking through here, so I think I can... I think it's fine. I think it is okay. So... so... So, 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 if I can, I will put insulated tile over there just to make sure that the box is staying inside. It's not ideal, because I think these cost a bit more than the average Joe, but I'm going to commit to this anyway, because I think it's important. At least it's going up kind of cool over here, which is good. My objective for now, after this one experience here, now that I've got food and oxygen and temperature relatively good, I need to start thinking about water because I've got some backup sources of water here and here, and those are good, those are fine, but the problem is if I run out of water and I don't have a means of filtrating water or filtering water, then I am going to die very, very quickly. So he who is working on the filtration, which is the precursor to the one that comes after that, which is the advanced filtration something something or something like that, I have no idea what. Have we got skills? Do we have more skills? He who, can you get skills please? Building, eh? Wow. Mima's a good builder. Mima's got a red hat for building. That's a cool hat. All right. Uh, why can you not do this? Why is your skill not good enough to do this? Oh, you need carrying. Oh, I see. Ah, so incredibly interesting. That is ve I I see how this is working now. It is very interesting. So that's all good. And we will get to that eventually. But for right now, that is good. I'm gonna do this just so it's e a little bit easier to get through all that bedrock and whatnot. So, now that we got a good bit of power, and now that we got a good bit of everything else, all that's left to do now is to work on the filtration system, which is going to run the filtering between the polluted water and then back into the main water supply. I think I should have a separate reclaimed water and then a main water because the reclaimed water can be used for irrigation purposes and like watering the plants and the crops because those can be disinfected separately. But if I have just a global water thing, it's not gonna be as good. And I can use the, I should have a clean water supply and then a not clean water supply. That would be ideal in my opinion, but it also might work out terribly and be horrible and destroy everything I've ever known and loved. Oh God, okay, so listen, I just don't want people to have to drink poop water. Is that so hard? No, it's not. So if I can let people drink clean water, I'll be a hero. But maybe I shouldn't worry about it. I mean, the place is called Pigpen after all, and I'm pretty sure Pigpens probably have a lot of poop water. Whatever, what does it matter? Who cares? It's all good, we're all gonna die anyway eventually. All right, insufficient oxygen generation. That's not very much oxygen. Are we doing poorly? Oh, let's enable this building again. Let's just burn a little algae. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? It's not that bad. I also want to be a bit better and more cognizant, which means to be aware of and thinking about where specific things need specific amounts of goodies. So if I can have goodies, in say this room that these plants need say dirt fertilizer there is a storage container in here that has those things or at least a storage container nearby that has those things that would save an incredible amount of time relaying things back and forth and make it so that people aren't wasting too much time it's the same logic as having a ration box in the kitchen where the food is that way people aren't running around trying to get food back to this box all over the place people just go where it needs to be and that's the end of it. So why don't I do that? Because I hate myself. Hey, Turntner, exosuit wearing? Okay, cool. You wanna wear an exosuit? All right, cool, good for you, man, good for you. I don't know what that means, but good for you, whatever that is and whatever you're doing. Hey, can someone turn this on, please? 
Wow. Bless your brain with that sweet, sweet info. Also, it's really poopy down here. It's quite poopy. It's almost exceptionally poopy. Just, oh, you're cute. Oh, you guys are cute. You guys are cute. Pip squeak kids, you little, oh, little, so cute, you little cutie, you cutie, you're so cute, so cute. Oh my God, you're cute. Oh my God, it's cute. It's really cute. <laughs> okay, so that's there. Uh, hopefully you got that. I'm gonna insulate this up. We're gonna, when this breaks down, I'm gonna just make a door here so that people can get that real quick. I'm gonna put, if I'm gonna be cognizant about these kinds of things, then it would behoove me to put, say, algae next to the places that need the algae, right? So if there was, say, a storage container right there and say right here, because that's a convenient place to get to these algae that had algae in it, I wouldn't necessarily need them to go running. See, I'm really using my brain on this one. But if there was algae in here, instead of just having like a standard, and then I set it so it didn't have that much algae, but it had a good bit always on hand, then it would have the algae that I would need when I need it, you know? So then people could tidy up the algae. Right? You, you, you get what I'm saying, right? I feel like I'm stupid, but I feel also like I'm smart. Also, there's a lot of CO2 in here, but I don't know if there's anything I can do about it. Okay, now I don't know if people are automatically gonna do that, or if I have to tell them specifically to tidy up, because I don't have anybody that's specifically for tidying. You need, like, I need someone to be specifically a tidying. Oh, well, I mean, Tinkle Tush could be a tidier, but Tinkle Tush loves tinkering. Hmm. Mm. Hey, hoo hoo, how long in that research? Oh, not, not close. Do you hear that? Why is there, why is there noise right here? Is the water? What is that a, is a fossil? What's a fossil? There's a lot more sounds than I thought there'd be. I've never really paid attention to the sounds before. I'm hearing strange sounds. Okay, whatever, it, it's fine. It's totally 100% fine. I don't know why I'm being weird about it, but it's, this is fine. I don't think I'm getting enough oxygen. No, definitely not enough oxygen. I thought I had plenty. Apparently I have not enough. I think also because this is in a bad spot, so I'm actually gonna destroy that one. I'm gonna move it up here. And then if I need to, I'll put another one there so we can have, we got, we got like oxygen coming up from the bottom, but we also need oxygen like at the top so we can push it down. And I think that'll be good so long as I destroy this because I think that's also getting a little in the way. So that's gonna get destroyed eventually, but that's not overloading the power just yet. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're very good. Hey, people put algae in here. Hey, that's good. Hey, that's pretty cool. Everything's looking kind of up. How's the temperature doing? Still kind of toasty. These are getting hot, which is weird. I didn't think that they would get hot. Ice E fan uses ice to dissipate a small amount of heat. Um, converts water to ice. I don't have ice, so I can't just use water anymore in it. I gotta use ice. That makes sense, I guess, but also it's a bit more of a problem because I can't just on demand make ice because that produces heat and then it would kind of defeat the whole purpose of what we were doing over here. But I, I don't, I don't, I, I'm just saying that I think that maybe, maybe there's a bit of a problem here and I wasn't. Thinking properly. So eventually I gotta cool this down, but for right now it's okay. The insulating is not doing exactly that I thought it did. Maybe I need to put another layer there. Like, I like layers. Let's layer it. What's the worst that could happen? Like a double layer airlock or something like that? I don't know, whatever. Gives them something to do. Uh, do we need another person? The answer is no, but hey, here I go anyway. Apparently. <gasps> Bristle ball! Bristleberries! Oh. Oh, oh my, you are actually a farmer. And you're you're a farmer that is a slow learn. You are actually, a, you even look like a tired, slow, simple farmer. Oh, good old Dumplin. <laughs> We've got evil baby face and good old Dumplin. <laughs> yeah, get in here. <laughs> get in here, you prick. Oh, good old Dumplin, you are so simple, but I love you. You just love farming. Ain't you just a peach? Ain't you just a peach? You just a peach. I love you, good old Dumplin', good old Dumplin', evil baby face, the two farmers, two sides. 
You guys are so perfect. It's evil baby face and good old dumpling. Two sides of the same coin. Oh, one's gonna be up here. One's gonna be down there. It's yin and yang. Oh, guys, you need to pick your side. Oh, these grew up. Wow, they're still cute. Which one are you, evil baby face or a good old dumpling? I know which one I am, but I ain't gonna tell yous. <laughs> How are we doing on oxygen now? Are we better? Yeah, that's better. That's definitely getting better. There's not a lot of like airflow through some of these places, so that's why it's getting a little non-distributed, but it's doing okay. Until I get to the point where I can actually like put air ducts where they need to be, I'm just gonna add a few airflow tiles to let rooms breathe just a little more. Oh, I need to give good old Dumplin' a bed, don't I? Well, he's not gonna be with everybody else, but frankly, I don't know if he needs to be with everyone else. You know, he does, you know, actually, let's not put one in the poop room because that's not good. How are we doing on research? Still a little more to go, but then we'll get filtration, then we get water going, and then we won't die. That's the dream, just not dying. You know, actually, the the insulation is working. It, it looks like the temperature is either evening out from where it was or at least going down a little bit, which is better than the situation that was happening before. That is still getting toasty. Refined carbon, excuse me? <laughs> Ga what? Gas? Refined carbon, gas, breathable gas, oxygen. I'm sorry, you might be confused. I don't think that's what you think it means. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Purified from raw coal. I'm not sure what happened there, but great. You just keep heating up, buddies. You you just keep getting nice and toasty. Okay, so that project is done. The oxygen is getting way better. Oh yeah, the airflow tile is gonna help pass all that through. Get the, I need to eventually get the toxic, but thankfully I think it's the same research. No, it's different research. Where is decontamination? That's what it is. Okay, I need decontamination because there is a lot of polluted oxygen just literally everywhere. It's because these things are everywhere. I gotta... Now I remember why I didn't necessarily want those going straight up like that, but it's also a factor of the fact that we don't necessarily have someone tidying everything up and we definitely don't have places for everything, so it is what it is. Eventually, I will get like a big old tidy command going on, but I don't have any places to put it just yet. It's not necessarily gonna be the best. Maybe for the time being, I will, you know what, actually I will. I'm For the time being, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make storage bins for literally everything right now and See what happens. Hey, we did it. We did. We did it. Okay, water. Water filtration. Okay, we got the filtration. Ooh, water sieve. Ooh, ethanol. We can make booze. We can make booze. We're gonna get drunk. <laughs> I'm gonna treat these duplicants right. We're gonna get them crunky drunk. So, water sieve, though. Um, it takes a lot of power to do this, and Ideally, I would not put this directly back in considering this is loaded up with every type of bacteria. But that being said, what, what is, what is, what is that, what is, what is that? Floral scent, floral, 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 floral scent. Why does it have a floral scent? Is it from the bristle blossoms? Like, is that why they're sneezing? They're allergic to, <gasps> I didn't know that could be a thing. You could be allergic to it, but that's so cool. But that's also so weird. You are disgusting. Who is that? Yikachu, get your ass go! All right, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna put this for all except, everything except organic. We're not gonna have it be organic, but everything else is fair game. Copy that to everything. And I'm gonna set the world's biggest sweep or, I, did, I paused, I didn't mean to pause, I'm sorry, I forgot. The world's biggest sweep command, here we go. We're sweeping it, we're cleaning up. Boink. Oh, yeah, now that is what I am talking about. Oh, yeah, let's speed it up because that's gonna take a while. But this is good, believe it or not. It is, in fact, good. Okay, this is gonna take a while. So I'm gonna have you guys watch good old Dumplin'. Make sure they're up to, you know, not, not good, but, you know, make sure they're up to good. Because they might not be up. Where are you going? A rotten bristle bear. Are we losing food to rot? We don't have refrigerator yet, so I guess we would be. I'll be back. Wait, why are we dead? Why did we stop? Who did anyone die? Oh, they're not even done sweeping. Oh, we were sweeping so good. Well, this is some baloney. This is some felonious baloney. Okay, so we finished our research there, and I stupidly, I guess, didn't set another research while I was away because I'm. 
stupid, but I need to get decontamination. So I'm gonna get that so that we can get the poop air out of here because there's a lot of poop air. I don't know why there's so much poop air, but there is a lot of poop air. Okay, we don't need any more people. We're gonna keep it at eight for a good long while. Pufflet egg, three pufflets? That's a lot of pufflets. I'll do the pufflets, give me the pufflets. I'm gonna kill them anyway for food, but whatever. I should set up a ranching area. Ooh. I wasn't even building, why was I not even building the refinement area? I need the water sieve. Okay, we're gonna do water sieve. I am going to set up a separate reclaimable water because I love myself and I love my duplicants and I won't let them swim around in muck. I won't do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna make them swim around in muck. Uh, they deserve better. Finally starting to get into the plumbing aspect of this, so we need a pump. Oh god, we're gonna need a separate power supply for this, I know. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, it goes here to the in, and then the out is gonna flow to here. Okay, you need 120 Hey, 120 watts actually is better than I thought it was. Well then actually we can hook that up. They, they, they dropped the power requirement on that, didn't they? Because it used to be way... Way more power than that. Okay, but that's good. That's good. That means I can utilize a lot more than I once did. I mean, the the pump's still- Ah, oh, the pump's still 240. Never mind. I think it was- It was a pipe dream. I'm never gonna be able to- <sighs> Okay, all right. I don't have any drop junction things either, whatever they were called. They weren't called drop junctions. I know that. Transformers, that's what it was. Uh, yet. All right, we got a long way to go for that, but let's worry about that later. Let's just create a separate power supply that's gonna power that, because I don't have time or the brain power or the energy to do that, so I'm gonna set up a small separate subsystem that's only gonna power that water pump, because I just don't have time to make more than that happen. So I need to set up a separate thing. Boom. So that is a separate power system, and I'm gonna give it its own battery, so that we don't need to constantly have people going to that. And then, once that's there, this will be powered, and everything will be hunky, and everything will be dory. And if everything's not hunky, and everything is not dory, then I'm gonna blow everything up because I'm angry and I lash out. Okay, so it's not powered yet, but it will be powered as soon as someone hops in that bad boy. And then once I get to the point where I can have transformers, I will do that. But for now, this is good, and it's gonna drop into there, which is a big priority. Oh yeah, people are still sweeping, aren't they? Not that I need them to sweep, but whatever. Okay, here we go. And... Bada bing, bada boom. Are they flirting over there? Were they flirting? Did I see some flirting? I think I saw some flirting. I think I saw flirting. Okay, good. So that's getting done there. Okay, good. This is going surprisingly good. Uh, there is some heat leak from right here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and destroy that and then replace it with just insulating tile there. That way we don't have to worry about that. But yeah, that's that's pretty good. Th this is going shockingly well. And, and I think the temperature is actually going down here. I, I'm not 100% sure why it would be going down, but I think it's going down a little bit at least. And then we're getting water here. We can put a separate pump here just for this water here. Okay, cool. And then we'll have a separate water for this. Oh, good thing I did when I, I did that. We are in trouble. We have a lot less water than I thought we had. Thought we had a lot of water, but turns out, turns out that it was that was a lie. Okay, good. Uh, yeah. Hey, look, evil baby face. What do you want to do? How about evil baby face? Evil baby face is gonna be the rancher, and then good old Dumplin. You know what? Actually, evil baby face. No, good old Dumplin needs to be the. Nah, mm, no, evil baby face. He actually likes excavation. That's a good point. That's a good point. It is what they like. Do they get bonus morale if they do what they like doing? I don't know. I mean, good old Dumplin' likes farming. They could do both, I guess. Eh, we'll make evil, evil babyface do what he likes. Like, why not? Oh, you can't do that yet. Okay, whatever. Okay, you are gonna be more research. I don't care if you don't like it, you're gonna do it. Tinkle Tush, you do what you love, but you can't because you're not at that. Okay, you're gonna... You're gonna do this, though. And Beardu, you're gonna get this so you can get mechanics. Which you love. It is important to do what you love. I think we've got it. it. Looks so nice over there. Why is it so nice and blue and lit up and beautiful? It's beautiful here. It's so pretty. This whole hallway is just really pretty. It's very aesthetically pleasing right here. Oh, there's too much polluted oxygen though. There's a lot of polluted oxygen. Look at that. Oh, you are disgusting. Oh, you are gross. Oh, you all get instantly gross. That's horrible. That's... 
Okay, that's a problem. We're gonna need to um, we're gonna need to do uh, to, uh, we're gonna need to do something about that because we gotta put like a like a like a wash basin. Or, oh crap! There we go. Okay, and then people are gonna wash their hands on the way out. That way, anytime they get, I know it's a little bit of a problem just because they obviously. It's a problem, but it's it's a little bit of preventative that's gonna go a long way. Okay, there we go. And then only to the left. Okay, and then finish this off with this. And hey, we got the sanitation thing, right? We got the deodorizer, okay. Reducing disease spread, uh, put one right there. Cheer. Okay, I know this is like the episode of the stink, and the episode of the stink is not going good for me in terms of like everything being horribly filled with pollution, but if you think about it, it's also the episode, the episode of the, the... Omelets? Yeah, give us omelets! Uh, yeah, <laughs> of course give us omelets. Why wouldn't we get om- Yes, omelets, that's great! Okay, cool, uh, alright, so you've maxed out that, so what else could we get? Uh, I guess, you know, you do some building sometimes, so I guess you could do that. Sure, yeah, well, why not, right? It was Mima also, uh, building, you sometimes need supply for that as well, so you can have supply. Okay, uh, I, I definitely should have some deodorizer here, but I wouldn't want to put it there because it's not- I'm gonna pull a sneaky on him. Watch this. I'm gonna pull a sneaky on you. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this right there, and put deodorizer right there, and then I'm gonna put the other compost right there. And I forgot about this thing way over here. This should not be there. That's not in a place I can control. And there's a lot of polluted water over there. Maybe it was a dumb idea to get all these, do the big giant sweep command, because that seems like something that's not working out too well for me right now, and we're also not making enough oxygen for some reason, and I don't know why, because it looks like we're doing good on oxygen, but apparently we're not. So, just because it's annoying me, I'm gonna cancel all the, cancel all that. That's better. Okay, research. Why aren't we researching anything? Uh, let's get agriculture, because we are wasting a lot to rot, and we don't want rot. Rot, not good. So if we can avoid rot, that'd be ideal. You know, while I'm at it, I can actually make this musher be on this separate circuit, which would help out a good bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deconstruct that, deconstruct this, and I'm gonna make this wire bridge to there. Cool! This is going... surprisingly good. And then we can finally finish this project, which was forever ago. We got water. Guys, it's going good! Can you believe it? <laughs> I certainly cannot! Uh-oh, that was one person that went out without washing their hands. Okay, whatever, what a, a little sickness is nothing compared to not being sick. So that's pretty good. There's nothing I can do about it right now. I need to make another bed just for, uh, good old Dumplin. For Dumpy. Dumpy's gonna have a good night's sleep, that's for sure. So I've got the deodorizers there. Uh, for some reason there's some deodorization that needs to be done here. A little airflow tile right. Rut cheer, get rid of that, and then pop of this on that. Carbon skimmer, I don't need that unless it's something- Yeah, why would you do a carbon skimmer when you can make an algae terrarium and get just as much? Cause I mean, in all honesty, that would be supremely more effective, right? Oh god, we are running out of water there. Okay, let's just destroy all of these because now they're- none of them are doing any good. And also, let's go ahead and tap this one because, I uh, we are running out of water. Oh, uh, mush bars. We need to stop making that because we are actually losing water from that. So, let's put that on hold for now, because we got some food now. Let's- I think we need to make another layer of food production, and let's go ahead and do one of these maneuvers. Actually, not that, not that. Airflow. Airflow. And we're gonna move this over here. We don't really need it, but you know, it's it's something good to have, and uh, it's getting in the way of the door that I'm gonna put right there. We don't have enough briar blossom, but we do have a lot of meal wood. Let's just go ahead and make meal wood. This would be the meal wood level. I know briar blossoms take water, which is another place where water is also just kind of going away. Yeah, they need 20 water per cycle, which is not a lot. That is not a lot, but it's not something that gets recycled. That is something that just goes away. So to be perfectly honest, I, I think the best bet right now is meal lice. Plus people are sneezing up a storm from those things. Oh well, okay. Hopefully that's gonna help out with food. And once we get the research done for the refrigerator, then we're gonna get the refrigerator in there. We can stop wasting food. At least it'll be moderately better. Oh god, people are getting food poisoning all over the place. 
Oh god, uh from breathing germ-filled polluted oxygen. I'm doing my best. It's getting better, it's just not quite there just yet. We need to put a deodorizer like right here or something. I mean it's it's everywhere, but at least we can do a little bit to kind of combat it. Why do I even bridge these at all? We don't need them to be bridged, so why am I bridging them? I I don't know! I'm terribly stupid! I could just have different pumps at different levels so that they're always ready to go just in case we get to the level that it needs to be, I suppose. That'd be smart, wouldn't it? But I'm not smart is the thing. Oh shit! Why is it- how long has that been like that? How long has that been like that? There's a lot of problems, but there's also a lot of solutions. So hopefully we're gonna run out of problems and we're gonna start filling up with solutions right quick. But I'm all out of time for this episode. For now, I'm gonna put a deodorizer right there, right there eventually. But then for now, I'm gonna let them snooze. I'm gonna let them snooze because they need to snooze because they need to build up their strength for the next time that I asked them to do something horrible and incredible. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. This is going well, but I am in a constant panic at every moment, and I need to get ranching up before these eggs explode into sheep things that are gonna eat all my meal wood. But either way, thank you everybody so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye